Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to The Infected. Last episode, I was talking about the hordes and how to handle them. Um, the hordes are coming in at a record pace. I mean, just a record, a neck-breaking, whiplash-inducing pace. Um, some people think it's too much. Some people don't think it's too much. The uh, developer has already said to me, like, he wants us to be defending ourselves all the time. He personally feels like it's boring when we're not defending ourselves all the time. Um, you know, I get what he's saying, but I think they are attacking a little too much. Now, I asked you guys last episode, do you want me to turn off the hordes? Um, a lot of people seem like they did want me to turn off the hordes, but I kind of feel like it's a little bit of a defeat for me to turn off the hordes. But then, but then again, it's not like the hordes are breaking in or killing me. So is it really a defeat? I mean, they're just an annoyance, you know? So what I'm thinking, I, I don't want to like just give up on the hordes in, in, in general. You know, I don't want this to be like, um... Uh, start over where I just don't do the hordes. I don't think the hordes are that bad. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, for, I'm going to kind of um, leave it up in the air and how I deal with them right now. Um, I did do a grinding session of about 40 minutes and I did turn the hordes off for the grinding session. So, uh, but they are back on now. Oh my God. There's no room for anything. The hordes are back on uh, whatever the hordes. Are back. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting tired of, um, Inventory management with the freaking crops and the spoiled food. Anyway, the hordes are back on right now. Let me show you what I did off camera. I went ahead and got a bunch of lead, which is awesome. And I even cooked up a bunch. And we've got the iron, the copper, the aluminum, the cobalt, the lead. We've got some steel over there. These two things are, are, you know, just going crazy. I did make three more stone uh, extractors. Mineral extractors. I mean, I guess they're just extracting stone, but yeah, same thing. Um, I've got two more mineral extractors. Let me go ahead and close all my doors because we will be getting a horde. Um, not right now, but still, I, I don't like my doors being open. I really don't. So anyway, um, I've got, I've, I made like three more mineral extractors and I've got two getting iron because I do need iron ore to make steel. Um, so I've got two on iron. I was wondering what that was. He's chopping down trees. Look at him go. I've got two of these on iron. Now, I was thinking I could have him get stone, but he wasn't getting stone. And someone said in the, in the um, comment section that probably all the stone in the area is mined out. So that's why he's not getting stone. He's obviously working properly because he's getting wood. So anyway, these three right here are getting the, you know, the iron ore. And these four are getting stone. And that should keep me going at a pretty decent pace. All right. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn off two oil extractors because I do have a decent amount of oil. You know what? Nah, screw it. Leave them on. I'll turn them off eventually because I'm trying to lower the uh, noise value a little bit. But um, yeah, I don't like the idea of just turning off the hordes completely. I mean, maybe for a little while, but I don't know. I think I can handle it. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, I just don't want this to be like all horde-based defense stuff, although that's kind of what it's turning into. Should we just um not do any horde-based defense today? You know what? Let's not do any horde-based defense today. I am going to give you an, an idea of what I'm thinking of. Now, this idea is not a great one. The whole idea of the hordes coming in is I can handle them. I've got the healing, I've got the defense, I've got the offense, and I've got the fencing. All right, I can handle them. The problem is when they come in, they're breaking up between two and three, two and three um, fences every time they come in, which is about five to 10 iron ingots every attack. That's what I'm trying to avoid. Now, the way I think I'm gonna be able to avoid that is with the steel fencing, 2,500 hit points. Here's the thing though. Theoretically, the enemy's coming in um, to the steel fence. Can I kill them with the bow and arrow before they break the steel fence? I don't think so. You just don't shoot fast enough and these arrows don't do enough damage. Like you'll just be like, boom, boom. I mean, it's like, that's not gonna be fast enough. Now, a lot of people are telling me to put spikes through this thing. And I guess I could do that. Uh, you know, you just kind of put them like this. I, you know what, I could probably do that and even repair them if I, if I did it properly. See, the thing is, do the spikes... I don't understand how the spikes deal with the mini-bosses. Will the spikes defeat the mini-bosses? Because I've had spikes out there, and they did not defeat the mini-bosses. They just melted away. So, I don't know. Um, I'm thinking I'm thinking my ultimate idea will be to have steel fencing along this entire path. And then once I have that, I'll stop making the barbed wire fence. So the outside will be steel fencing with spikes, and the inside will be barbed wire fence, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, you know what? Let's not do base defense today. That's just a thought on what I'm going to be doing in the future. I think what we need to do first is we need to put up some railings. So let's go and do that. All right. I mean, I've been meaning to do this for a long time. Here we go. Railings, railings. 
I love railings. I love railings almost as much as I love wraparound decks. You guys know how much I love a wraparound deck. Right. This is going to take logs, but one thing we do have a lot of is logs. And my boy can continue getting logs after the fact. Let's do this on the other side. Then we'll do the corner pieces. All right. Here we go. Yeah, I mean, the horde base defense thing is really cool. Um, but... People are in the comment section, and I'm, I can tell by the views. People want to see me start building. Like, le like I mean, my last 10 videos have been basically nothing, pretty much, but base defense, you know? So, we'll just kind of see how it goes. We'll kind of play around with it. Um, I want to defeat the hordes in the most efficient way possible. A lot of people say use spikes. I don't believe spikes is the most efficient way possible because the spikes are super expensive. It takes, like, what, like 20, 20 um, fragments? Yeah, that's like four iron ingots per spike. And when the boss comes in, I feel like the boss is just going to decimate the spikes. Um, I, I was using spikes in the early part of this series, and I watched the bosses, especially the werewolf bosses, just wreck the spikes, and oh, they barely took any damage. But that was only one time. Maybe that was a, maybe that was a one-time thing. I don't know. Um, we should definitely give it another shot, especially considering, you know, what else, what else is there to do? Might as well. Like, you know, it couldn't be any worse. And if it is, then we just won't do it. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Do I want to put any kind of roof over this place? I don't think so. No, definitely not. Freaking, no. Yeah, this is like barns and, and crops and stuff. Of course, you don't want to put a roof over it. That would be stupid. <laughs> I was also making all this um, cement because I thought I was going to use it on the uh, floor. But I'm not going to use it on the floor. I got to use it on those... Uh, those fences out there that I think are just going to get demolished in like two seconds. But whatever. You know what? We got the materials. There's, I mean, we'll try it out. Maybe it'll work. I, I, I know there's been other games where I would play something and I'd be like, no, that won't work because one time, one time I saw something happen and I was like, well, that's just the way the game works. There could be flukes. Just because it happened once doesn't mean that that's the, you know, going to be the, the case all the time. And I need to keep that in mind. Yo, and you... And you. I also got to think about the, um, I got to start thinking about the tower. People want to be build a tower in the middle of the, in the middle of the base. You know what I could probably do? I could probably build a tower on that side and a tower on this side and have like a, ooh, a sky bridge made out of glass. Hmm. I don't know if that's going to work. Really quickly. Let's come up. I don't think I have enough room in this building to make a proper tower. Because the tower's got to be like three by three. Um, I mean, I could make a tower in here, but then my, but then my, um, I'd have to move my, you know, cooking station down here. I could do that. I could move all the cooking stuff down here. Why not? Why wouldn't I? Like, it's just one more floor up. I mean, it doesn't really matter. And then that'll be a three by three, and I could probably make a tower going straight up. You know what? It'd be a future build. Let's see, see how it goes. And then what I would do is I would make a tower, a three by three, on that side. I'd make a three by three on this side, have the tower go up into the sky and then have doors that'll go out into a sky bridge, which will be the whole thing will be made out of glass. Oh, that'd be dope. Okay. Okay. Yes. I like that idea. That's what I'm going to need steel for. I'm going to need steel for everything. Each one of those uh, fence pieces costs steel. So if they break out a fence piece, I'm losing four steel. Is four steel really that much? Well, it's four iron. It's four. It's four iron uh, ore, which is not easy to get. And I either have to mine it or I have to wait forever for the uh, extractor to get it. And I and four lead, and I have to go mine the lead. So yeah, four steel is a lot. That's a lot to be losing on a on a defense. It's not going to work very well. But again, I don't know if it's going to work very well, and I'm willing to give it a shot. The only thing is, I don't think my defense setup, even though we're not like doing defense today we're still talking about it um yeah but i don't think my defensive setup is going to work well over here because they're going to get well i guess it'll it'll work because they'll break out the outer fence but then i'm going to lose the outer fence and once they break out the outer fence i should be able to hammer them pretty good right here but it's tough sometimes they're not in the right I, honestly guys i just don't think you do enough damage with the bow to make any of this stuff good um i'm definitely gonna have to uh deal with spikes and uh, we'll just see how it goes I don't know. A lot, there's a lot of options, a lot of things I can do. And the cool thing about this game and any survival game that's 
Any survival game that's awesome, they let you move things around. Just let us move things around. There's no reason not to. We're trying new things. We're seeing what'll work. We're, we're seeing what doesn't work. Like, not, like, survival games that don't allow us to move stuff drives me nuts. And, like, the more I play survival games, the more I, that's becoming a big deal for me. To be able to move things. So I'm wondering if people actually want to see the base attacks at all. Uh, you, wanna, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to continue showing the base attacks, but I'm going to show them in a very, uh, a very condensed manner. No more sitting around waiting for them. You will see them when they attack, and that's it. There we go. Wow, that setup was pretty good. <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> I mean, I still lost a wall, but damn. I don't even think that was the horde, though, because I'm at 719. I don't know. Maybe it was. I didn't hear the horde sound. So I'm a little bit nervous to go out there, but I'm going to go out there anyway. All right. This isn't looking good. This guy came right over the stone. The stone wall's up there. Not looking good for me. Uh, let's just do this. There we go. Oh, I didn't know healing things take off your... Oh, interesting. I didn't know using healing things would, um... Like the healing, uh... What do you call it? Healing packs and stuff? I didn't know it would take off debuffs. I mean, it makes sense it would, but I don't think it always did. There you go. There he goes. Trying to oh, there, he's dead. So it's weird. I heard the howl and I wasn't sure where they were. And they're just like up here on the rock. I'm not going to do this today. But at some point, I'm going to have to deal with this whole rock situation. I don't even know if I could put like walls up there. Maybe I can. I guess I could try. Hold on. Let me, uh, let me see if I can put these up here. Okay. See, it's kind of hard to get up there. There we go. All right, really quickly, we're not doing defense today, but really quickly. Oh, I can put them up here. Okay. Yeah, maybe I'll have to put something up here. I'm not really sure I'm going to handle it. The only other thing I could do is put walls completely around this, but that's going to be a pain in the ass. Or I could bring the walls in. I might bring the walls in, but then I'd have to move everything in. I'm not really sure I'm going to handle it, and that's not what today's video is about. So to hell with it. Got another horde coming in. Pretty much exactly where I want them to come in, although I only see two enemies. Oh, what are they doing? He just opened the gate. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for that. Am I gonna really have to turn him off during horde nights? Where are you going? What are you doing? Why are you attacking over there? Alright, well, whatever. Better over there than over here. But make up your mind. Alright, you. You're not gonna be able to break that. Okay, let's see where else the horde is. Because that was only two guys. Unless that's all I got. Unless they're up here. I don't see anybody else. I don't know. I guess that's it for this one. Only two guys, but yeah. Without dingus. Oh, hold on. Hold your, hold your, hold that thought. Oh God, I hate these guys up here. See, when I shoot at him, that brings him down. Did you see what happened? He couldn't get down, but when I shot at him, he dodged and the dodge brought him down by accident. I think it only happens with that one guy, though. I don't think it'll happen with anybody else. It's just not a good spot. It's a real problem with my defenses. This. And there's going to be another guy over here somewhere, right? Let's go out here and see what's up. Sup? What's Nothing? Okay, good. Well, they didn't break in anywhere, which is awesome. I don't care. Well, no, nah, I don't want to. Well, can I get up? There? I don't want to move any fencing just to get to that guy. But let's see. Yeah, there we go. Cool. I don't have to move any fencing. All right. Another horde down. All right. Let's do some building now. That's what you guys are here for. That's what we're going to be doing. Okay. So what is next on the old agenda? Um, nothing over here. Oh, wait. I see something that needs to be built. Hold up. Hold your horses right here. All right, uh, railings. Oh, I already put that one there. What am I thinking? Regular railings. Regular railings cage. There you go. Beautiful. Safety first, man. You don't want to be falling. You guys don't want to see me fall off there, sprain an ankle. Sprain an ankle in a survival situation. It could be a death sentence. Um, I'm trying to watch the uh, light value, but the problem is I have the heater on. The cold heater, and that's causing some light value that I, you know, unless I want to freeze to death, I can't, I can't turn it off. All right, there we go. Up here is looking good. I think, um, 
And do some windows, maybe? Yeah, let's do some windows. I think that'll be pretty fun. I already have all this stuff in here. I, th I think we're going for a light value horde next. What do you guys think? Do you like the condensed hordes? Like, you get to see them, but it's, like, a lot quicker, you know? So you get to see what happens, but you don't have to sit around and wait for too long. Let me know in the comments section, because I want to I know what you guys want to see. Because um, I'm just not sure. That's why I ask. Just a drop chest right now. We need to be able to lock our gates. Because, like, I got to, like, turn him off from going after wood. Because he, like, keeps opening the gates on me. There you go. Come on, man. Break for Damn it! He's so close to not breaking it. Um, I heard a second um, howl, so I'm not sure if there's another horde coming in. I'm just going to kind of wait and see. I did not get another horde, so that was the only one. I did replace everything. Let me go ahead and drop some stuff off right here. You know, trying to get stuff done, but... <laughs> going to keep dropping stuff off. All right, that stuff can come up here. So you can go right there. I will organize my drop chest off camera. It's all about, you know, just do it off camera. All right, so we have a bunch of glass. What else do we need for windows? Because I don't remember. Um, fire. Oh, firewood, huh? Okay. Um, the, the windows are pretty cool. Like, you, they're obviously glass windows, which is nice. There was a time where there weren't glass windows. But I would really like shutters. I think shutters would be freaking cool. Go there. There. Also, I think um, you should need windows to keep a good temperature in your base. That would definitely be something that should be. It wouldn't really be a problem for me right now, but it would definitely add to some survival, you know, in the beginning of the game. And it makes sense, right? Come on. Come on. Probably do that from outside. Go there, 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 and here. All right, and then I need to also put down another door. I lost a door. Right there. Okay, let's get some firewood. Man, firewood's gonna be a pain to get. I mean, I do have some, but once that's all gone, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be annoying. I'm gonna have to break break freaking trees. No, I'll do the sticks last. I'm gonna already be encumbered. Yeah. Good, good. Firewood's holding up, and there's all my firewood gone. So how much firewood do you get from one of these? Ugh, only four? I guess it's not too bad. It's good for two windows. It's not terrible. I think there's a thing I could break out here for firewood as well. Let's see if we can find something to break for firewood. I think the stumps, not from the tree stumps, the trees that we chopped down, but like regular stumps. Although, I think I already harvested them and they don't grow back. I might be able to get this, though. Oh, there you go. Oh, wow. A lot of firewood there. Hell yeah, bro. Is there another one around here somewhere? Probably. I could turn off foliage to make it easier, a little bit easier to find them, but... I don't know. I can cut... Oh, is that... No. I thought it was a stump. Okay, I'm not seeing another one. That's okay. Let's just go use what we got. By the way, I do think having the the wooden gates is going to work out fine. So I got to put those on all four corners of the base at some point as well. I think I'll do some grinding between this and next episode. And like I said, when I'm grinding, I will turn off the hordes. All right. Oh, I have, oh that's right. You need sticks for the windows too. So using the logs is perfectly fine. All right, we need some more glass. Do I have a lot of glass? What do you guys think? You think I have a lot of glass? I think I have a good amount of glass. Not a ton, but a decent amount. And I could always make more. Although the light value will uh, not look too kindly about it, but that's okay. Oh yeah, I already did all these. Alright. Glass. Ugh. Stupid stamina. Get the lead out, bro. Alright, we are almost there. I don't know if I'll do some more glass upstairs. Um, I'll probably do the bottom for now. I don't want this to just be an entire episode of me doing windows. Yo, oh, beautiful. Not enough sticks. 
Uh, we don't have any more sticks down here. Do we have any more sticks upstairs? I usually save these for bows. Maybe I shouldn't use those sticks. Alright. Well, sticks are easy. Sticks are real easy. As a matter of fact, usually I just leave them on the ground. Because I, I gotta chop these because they're in the way. They respawn like every... I don't even think every time I play the game, I think every time I leave the immediate area, they respawn. Or maybe when I sleep. Because I chop, I have to chop those bushes multiple times a day. If I wasn't so lazy, I'd have like a million sticks. I wouldn't have to do it right now, but... That's alright. It's alright. For that one. And for that one. Oops. We're out of sticks again. Alright then. At least get rid of the glass. I'm gonna need some more glass. I thought I'd play... Like, I thought I was all showing off. Like, look at all the glass I got. Yeah, your glass ain't, ain't that much, bro. It ain't that much. Let's take a look at the power really quickly. I did lose power during the night. Uh, my refrigerator was off, but it was only off for like a little bit. So it really wasn't a huge deal. But it's still scary to lose power, man, because that fridge, you know, it's not good. I might just go out and chop more, more sticks. Man, I'm probably going to need more firewood, but... Yeah, I'm going to need more firewood, so let's do these. Just throw these on the ground. Harvest. 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 And then just pick everything up. Now, there's going to be a time where I'm not going to need as many, um, as much firewood as sticks. But then again, you could always harvest the firewood into sticks. So, not really that big of a deal. Yeah. Sticks. The windows look good. I'm not saying they don't look good. I'm just saying I like shutters. We need two, two. I just want to get rid of all the firewood, or at least get all the all the firewood into place. All right, cool. More sticks. Lots more sticks. Starting to really build up a lot of iron fragments. All three of these chests are full, and this one's half full. Um, but what I'm really looking for is more sand because I ran out of glass. Uh, let's take a look at this glass now. All right, so we need I'm overheating again. Oh my goodness, what is this? Oh, it's March already, wow. Man, the winter went quick. Holy moly. Anyway, let's see what I need for these. Uh, well, I need glass, uh, sticks, firewood, they need a lot of stuff. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and grab some more of this. Oops. Harvest that. Harvest that. And hopefully that'll be enough firewood for everything. I thought I was done with the firewood, but I don't know. Apparently not yet. Right, let's pay attention here. Glass. Done. 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 Wow, I need a lot more firewood, huh? Holy moly. It's freaking windows. And I like windows, man. That's that's my problem. I, I like windows, dude. There we go. This game's getting super duper grindy. Honestly, I don't even know what to, you know, I, I kind of look at the, um, the horde attacks as a grind as well. That's the grind that's really holding me back is the horde attacks. It's not just the horde attacks either, it's like having to clean up and repair and stuff after them. Although, um, Mike has been really good with the repairs, I really appreciate. Um, he's been, he's been Johnny on the spot with the repairs. And that has really helped, like, a lot. Okay, these are all looking good. We need more glass. We, I don't know what we need for that one. We should probably go out and check that one out. Go, sticks. Sticks and firewood. Let's see what we need for this one. Alright, more glass. I need more sticks. Do I have any more firewood? I do. Let's finish up the firewood. Alright, I think we're done with the firewood. Although I thought I was done with the firewood before and I was wrong. But now I really think I'm done with the firewood. I think I have just enough to finish now. Hopefully, hopefully I do. If I don't, I will just pause the video permanently until I'm done with these windows. They have been a lot more expensive than I thought they were going to be. Although, I think we're just about done here. I'll have to do that from the outside. Good, good. 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 And one more. And there we go. The windows are now complete. Love it. Man, it's almost nighttime. It looks like the morning. My goodness. Alright, cool. Windows are done. 
Uh, what next? What next? Oh, I know one other thing I want to change up here with the railings. Yep, there we go on that side. And there we go on that side. Now we just need a few logs, and we're good to go on the railings. My stamina is killing me. I'm gonna have to let my boy go out and do some uh, harvesting. Problem is, I gotta, I got, I can't let him chop trees when I have the hordes like coming in. Just can't do it. So he's a bit of a pain, but that's okay. He's he's more good than he is bad. That's for that's for damn sure. And I have the hiccups now. Getting annoyed with Mike gives me the hiccups. Um, you know what? That doesn't need to be a door anymore because I can get up. I wanted that to be a door so I could get on the roof. But that doesn't need to be a door anymore because I can get on the roof from here, no problem. Almost without even jumping. Here, let's see if we can do it without jumping. Almost. So, I think what we'll do now is we'll delete that. And we'll delete that. And we will put in a wall. Although, wait, is it supposed to be a window? No, I think it's supposed to be a wall. Alright. So, should I two more planks and three logs? Three and two planks. I'm good to go. Come on, planks. Am I gonna make that tower next episode? I'll tell you right now if I'm gonna work on that tower I was talking about, I'm going to turn off the hordes for that. So we'll see. I, I change my mind like 50 times a day, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. But like I said, I would start the tower right here and it would go right up through the ceiling. It would have to be a three by three, man. It'd be pretty much this whole area um in order to make towers like two by twos i don't know if you could do a two by two tower i i think i remember trying to do a two by two tower but it doesn't work because you can't get the the uh you can't get the floors in or the the, the stairs in properly I, I think i remember that so i'm gonna make it a three by three i just i don't want to deal with the headaches so what i'll do is i'll move this entire kitchen down here and the other side will be easy because it's just the bedroom i can i can work around it with the bedroom so uh let's go check it really quick before we end the video. Let's see what we got over here. So it'll be a three by three. I guess it would have to match up with that side. So it would have to be Oh, that might be difficult because where the stairs are. Because the the I would the three by three would have to match up over there, which means Yeah. That might be a problem. All right. Well, that's a problem for future future cage. I'm not gonna worry about it. Alright, if you guys ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here. Please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.